Let's keep things rolling here tonight. We got a little bit of a grudge match coming up between the Prince, Finn Balor, and the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And here comes the man who's been sporting a fresh coat of paint as of late. A new attitude for the Prince. And there he is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Let's take you back to a couple of weeks ago and show you how this situation began between these two men. It was on Monday Night Raw, Jeff Hardy, Finn Balor, a little singles competition just for the sake of competition on Monday Night Raw. Jeff Hardy with that moonsault right there. Picture perfect, picking up a quick victory over Finn Balor. Impressive fashion, it was a great matchup. But after the matchup, Finn Balor, pent up aggression after a couple of losses stringing together in a row, took it out on Jeff Hardy with absolutely just unnecessary and ridiculous beatdown, especially with these steel chair shots as you're seeing here. Just cracking Jeff Hardy multiple times with the cold hard steel. And we heard from Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw, basically saying it was time for a change. And we, we talked about how Jeff Hardy may have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here you see this past Monday Night on Raw, Jeff Hardy after a win over Apollo Crews. Finn Balor was not done as he took the fight to Jeff Hardy from behind once again. Jeff Hardy, we rumored he may have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Jeff Hardy took it personally. He wanted a rematch against Finn Balor here tonight, and he's getting it. And after that got announced, Finn Balor setting his mark and sending a message to Jeff Hardy one more time after his victory this past Monday Night on Raw. Finn has been frustrated after a string of losses led him to nothing but defeat and led him to that beatdown on Jeff Hardy. So he can look to get his career back on track here tonight as Jeff Hardy is seeking nothing more than retribution and redemption over the Prince Finn Balor. As here comes the charismatic enigma and a former WWE Champion himself, Jeff Hardy, is seeking revenge here tonight at Backlash. This is going to be a good one, folks. Strap in. You don't want to miss it. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! I am pumped up for this matchup as a couple of weeks ago before Finn Balor's unnecessary attack on Jeff Hardy. We witnessed a great matchup between two competitors. It was basically an exhibition matchup for the sake of competition. After Finn Balor had lost two matches in a row, won the Shinsuke Nakamura and won alongside Shinsuke Nakamura in tag team action against Sheamus and Jinder Mahal. That was on WWE main event and then Jeff Hardy had lost to Damian Priest in the first round of the WWE number one contenders tournament, WWE championship number one contenders tournament a couple of weeks ago as well. Manager been pinning together Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy, two fan favorites to go one-on-one -on -one to see who could put the momentum back in their corner. On that night, Jeff Hardy was the better man, but the string of losses got the best of Finn Balor and he absolutely snapped. And he has given himself what we are dubbing a fresh coat of paint and a new attitude for the Prince to help him get a little edge back and possibly help him get some wins in his corner as this matchup begins right here, right now with Backlash. I expect to see a more aggressive side of the Prince here tonight. Somebody who's probably going to take the fight to Jeff Hardy just a little bit more, not play things so easy inside the squared circle. He's certainly not in the ring with somebody he respects. So if that were the case, we would have never seen the chair shots a few weeks ago. We probably would have never been getting this rematch right here tonight. If you like the actions of Finn Balor, and you like the recent history of the Prince, you got to respect his, or excuse me, his competition and his abilities in that ring. We know Finn Balor can take the fight. We know he has all the tools to get the job done, especially over somebody like Jeff Hardy. Finn Balor's been the Intercontinental Champion. He was the first ever Universal Champion. He was the NXT Champion on multiple occasions. But if Finn Balor feels the need to turn a new page in his career, and Jeff Hardy's just first on the hit list, and so be it. We'll see how things work out for Finn Balor, and if a new attitude is what he needed to get back in the winning ways here tonight. But Jeff Hardy as he goes to the top rope 
We know he doesn't want to give Finn Balor the satisfaction of a victory here on pay-per-view as Jeff Hardy comes with the missile drop kick. Jeff Hardy with a lot to prove here tonight. I'm sure he wants to prove that that win, as you saw he went for that standing moonsault there. That was the move that game gave him the victory over Finn Balor a couple weeks ago on Raw. But as I was about to mention, I'm sure Jeff Hardy wants to prove here tonight that that win over Finn Balor wasn't just some quick fluke off that moonsault. A move that Jeff Hardy does, but certainly not one of his signature or finisher maneuvers in this ring. And on top of all that, when somebody cracks you multiple times with a steel chair to the chest and the head and to the back, I'm sure Jeff Hardy, as we mentioned, is seeking nothing more on top of a victory than straight up retribution here tonight. What better way to get retribution over Finn Balor than to hand him what caused all this in the first place, and that's yet another loss inside the squared circle. And Jeff Hardy is in good control of this matchup right now. That's a power bomb, something we don't see too often from Jeff Hardy as he's headed to the top rope. The charismatic enemy goes for a splash, but the Prince gets out of the way. Jeff Hardy eats canvas for dinner. Then just whipping Jeff into the corner there. Jeff goes down, just that missile drop kick. Like I said, man, I expect to see a more aggressive side of the Prince here tonight. Definitely be taking no shortcuts against Jeff Hardy. I should say you can't take no shortcuts against a guy like Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has been to the top of the mountain multiple times. He's had a decorated career as a tag team competitor and a singles competitor. Well documented. Documented. I don't need to educate anybody on that. It's not going to be an easy task to put Jeff Hardy away. Especially if he starts getting into the flow and starts going high risk with high reward as he goes to the top rope here. Jeff Hardy living for the moment, waiting for Finn Balor to get to his feet. He goes for the crossbody, but Finn catches him there as Finn Balor just throws Jeff Hardy down the map below. Two men had the same idea. They yeah, crash it into each other, but Finn gets the upper hand over the charismatic Enigma. It'll be very interested to see the result of this matchup. What happens to Finn Balor? What's going to be his mental state? What are his actions going to portray if he gets handed another loss by the hands of Jeff Hardy here tonight? And on the other hand, will Finn Balor wake up from this new attitude? Will he realize that that's not the case that he needs to take? Or not the road he needs to take, not the taste. As Jeff Hardy hits a twist of fate. Jeff Hardy hitting the twist of fate. I was going to mention what's Finn Balor going to do if he gets a win here tonight. But Jeff Hardy doesn't want to see that day. Went for the elbow drop. Finn Balor gets out of the way. Now he sends Jeff Hardy to the outside. A drop kick sends Jeff down to the floor below. As Finn's bringing Jeff to the outside here. And he hits the senton. That's the same senton he hit when he turned his back on Jeff Hardy a few weeks ago. Finn delivered a statement with that maneuver. And now he's going to get things a little bit more extreme. Up Jeff Hardy's alley, if you will, on the outside of the ring. Sending Jeff Hardy's rib cage right into the steel barricade. There may be padding there, but it's nothing but cold hard steel underneath a thin layer of padding. That's going to take you down and out. And that's why Jeff Hardy is taking a moment to get to his feet here. Finn Balor's going to have to stay on the offense, though, because it's going to take a lot more to keep somebody of Jeff Hardy's superstar caliber down. As we see Finn, look at this. Striking offense from the Demon, from the Prince. It's Finn Balor scouting Jeff Hardy. Will Finn get back into the winning ways? We know how bad he wants it as he drops Jeff Hardy dead on the canvas. Finn into the cover, and he could probably count to 20 on that one. No, Jeff Hardy gets the shoulder up. I stand corrected. I thought that maneuver was going to be the lights out for Jeff Hardy, but Jeff still got fight in him. And look at that. Drop kick to the back of Finn Balor. In the back of the neck. A little bit more dangerous. He's going to get the upper hand as we reach a couple of minutes in this matchup. Fatigue starts setting in. And we know with the animosity between these guys, it's only going to make the anger and aggression go stronger. Jeff drops the legs. 
Jeff Hardy's going up top where he feels most comfortable. But Finn Balor's right there. Jeff Hardy tried to go for the axe hammer, but Finn just a little bit out of the purpose there, out of the way, and hits the pay like kick. Now Finn's going to the top rope. What's he going for? But Jeff Hardy, look at this. These guys got to slow down a little bit. You see them both going for high risk maneuvers the past few minutes. They want to hit that high impact, high reward, but neither man is truly in position for it. Oh, wait a minute, Jeff Hardy, what the hell? Twist of fate from the second rope! Finn Balor eats a twist of fate and barely, just barely, gets the shoulder up. I don't know how the hell Finn Balor got his shoulder up off a second rope twist of fate from Jeff Hardy. A move he delivers with such statement, with such fire. Finn Balor gets to his feet, but barely. He's dazed and confused. Jeff Hardy's got him in a predicament here. I'm sure Jeff could be feeling that swan time bomb any moment. Oh, look at that. He went for the kick to the gut. Could have been going for another twist of fate. Ooh! That time, Finn Balor hits the Pele kick, but to the back of the neck of Jeff Hardy. That was brutal to watch. Finn Balor, look at this. He's just trying to beat the hell out of Jeff now. He brings him to the canvas again. Jeff Hardy's down, he's hurting. Finn is on the top rope. Finn, coup de gras! Finn Balor delivering the exclamation point on the charismatic enigma. And Finn Balor gets the win he has been searching for over Jeff Hardy. Tonight, not the night that the charismatic enigma is gonna get his vengeance, is gonna get his retribution over that man right there, the Prince Finn Balor. Valiant effort by Jeff, Finn Balor showing a new side, very aggressive in this contest, and in the end, hitting Jeff Hardy with that coup de gras aids him in defeat, or aids, or aids Jeff Hardy in defeat, but aids Finn Balor into the end of the victory. I'll wait that. Wait a minute, Finn Balor's got a steel chair. The match is over, and Finn Balor, he delivered the chair to Jeff Hardy a few weeks ago, which started all this. And Finn Balor delivering another statement here tonight. The victory wasn't enough. He wanted to put Jeff Hardy down and out. Steel chair shots. And Finn Balor is the last man standing over Jeff Hardy here tonight. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.